Welcome to the All Seas Collector's Edition Podcast. My name is James, and I am your host, followed with my co-host, Ryan. Hello, everyone. AJ. What's going on? Chris. Hey, hey. Micah. How's it going, guys? My beautiful wife is being our sound producer this week. Hello. And Ken behind the camera. I'm here. Our very, very special guest this week is Mr. Tom Sullivan, my good friend. I've uh, been a customer of All Seas for 30 plus years now. Uh, Colorado State representative, very proud of him to say. Um, District 37 he represents in our uh, lovely town here. And uh, introduce yourself, Tom. Uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for coming, brother. Oh, sure. Yes. <laughs> I'm in here all the time. But you are. going to do one of these. So yes. this will be a different different approach for us. Yes, absolutely, my friend. And this is all about collectibles and how, what we love and what we're passionate about. Right, my friend? Perfect. Exactly. Absolutely. Right on. Uh, we'll hand it to AJ real quick, and we'll talk about our lovely John Elway giveaway, my friend. Yep. So we are doing our second giveaway this month. This is for the signed John Elway card, one of four. It is going to be a great piece. We're going to be giving it out during the first podcast that we do in September. So that's going to be the September 2nd podcast. It'll be uploaded on September or September 1st. It'll be uploaded September 2nd there. Maybe September 3rd, since that's Labor Day. We might have an extra day. But what you guys can do to win this is you can go comment on this podcast, either on the videos on Facebook or YouTube, or you can go to Podbean, you can go to Google Play, you can go to Spotify, or you can go find us on Apple Podcasts. Leave us a review, comment there. Every show you comment on during the month of August will get you one entry to win this John Elway signed card. And we'll count all those comments, right? Facebook, YouTube, yep. every kind of format you can find us on. Last month, I think somebody had a cap out of 16 comments so 16 entries in matthew gonzalez good job yep. my friend shout out to matt uh, i always listen and i appreciate you matt and uh thank you for that what does that retail for uh this always is probably about 150 125 it's yeah. from leaf uh, ultimate sports this year 2019 and he is serial numbered my friend three of four three nice. of four beautiful and well, it's nice he doesn't elway doesn't sign that much anymore especially now that he's all back of the house well you know he will. Just depends. He has to stay sober <laughs> right. long enough to hold the pen. Hey, right, well, oh, he ain't no. no. oh, yeah. all all right. He, uh, bomb, he does pretty bomb. much private signings now, so he doesn't like public signings, signings, which I don't blame him. He's an executive for the Broncos. So, yeah. Right. yeah. At this point, you don't want to be doing public signings if you're away. And that being said, you guys can win this, and we're going to be doing one of these giveaways each month. So next week, tune back in. We're going to have our first gaming giveaway. Right on, and I want to get, take this moment real quick, AJ. Uh, why don't you give a shout-out to Aurora Rise real quick um, and tell us what we've got coming up. Absolutely. So Aurora Rise, we just gave away our scholarship about two weeks ago there. Now we're in the middle of planning out our auction. We do a big auction every year. We're planning this one out to be in October this year. We're going to have some more details for you guys about that soon. Um, but we are getting all those pieces laid out, and then from there we're going to be looking and we've been looking at some new theaters and options. We, for those who are familiar, we used to do a lot of different movies, superhero movies as fundraisers. Movie Tavern, right? Yep. We were working with, with Movie Tavern. We aren't working with them anymore. Um, Movie Tavern has gone on their own way. They actually had a new corporation come in. So we're looking for some other places to start doing some more fundraisers like that. And it's just been really good. We've had a great year. We had another like three applicants all in the last couple of months. So that's been great. And just the scholarship got people learning about us more. That got us two applicants we'd never heard from before. Right. So that was great. And you guys were at the, the Memorial uh, yep. Monument, right? right? Yeah, Correct. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, well, it was almost like the one year. It was like the one year anniversary of when they opened it right. all up. So it was on the, on the 27th. They had a beer festival, Chalk Garden, uh, you know, and stuff. Nice. Uh, I, I wanted to go that. I was at the show that day. So. Yeah. Yeah. It was the same day as our All Seas Fan Expo, yep. Right, right, right. So awesome, awesome work and continued, uh, you know, awareness of it also. Uh, yeah. Good job, my friend. And that's uh, actually how I know Tom here. Tom got involved with Aurora Rise back when we started, and his family was really integral to starting this, and that scholarship we gave away was in memory of Tom's son, Alex, who we lost on that night. So, yep, me and Tom have worked together with some Aurora Rise stuff in the past year, and now Tom is doing his stuff up in the Senate and still coming around All Seas doing his collecting. <laughs> Right, absolutely. I mean, and, and it's it's a it's a great organization, and 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 that's one of the things is to uh, uh, talk about the awareness to let people know that this this is a struggle that people in our community deal with each and every day. It's not just once a year. It's not just you know when uh, something else happens that we deal with it. You know, every single day, and it's good to um, you know notate you know the triumphs that we have. We've had a lot of good things um, that have come out about it. Uh, but there's people out there that are struggling and it's organizations like Aurora Rise who um, are there to help them. And so they need to know they have somewhere to go. Absolutely. Uh, they've paid to keep people's power on and uh, help with rent and uh, 
um, you know, handicapped needs for certain individuals. So God bless you guys for doing that yeah. work. I'm my school brother. books, school books, school books, know, right? Do. They hate the school books and, and all those kinds of things. So it's Chris Packham, Jason Farnsworth, AJ, Bonnie, you know, yeah. uh, Megan in the past, everybody that's ever been a part of it. Thank you guys very much. You know, uh, the very first fundraiser we did was awesome. Yep. Um, we had a huge was, auction. Yep. Yep. So it was great. And uh, that's made uh, my, my relationship with Greg McKenna so much better. He still helps us out with the hotel yep. uh, for, for the All Seas Fan Expo. So. And just on the collector side, we've met a lot of collectors through that. We had right. one of our first big signing days with All Seas was related to Aurora Rise. We got Matt Fraction out here and uh, Mike McNola. Mike, Mike McNola. Mignola. Yep. And then um, Steve Scott Campbell. Steve Scott Campbell. Steve Scott Campbell. Steve Scott Campbell. From a from Aurora, you know, gateway. Was doing, he was doing free sketches. Wow. Yep. Yes. And I'll say that again. Free <laughs> sketches from J. Scott Campbell. In yeah. little old all seas collective. Yep. That was right. amazing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <I love> it. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, it was sweet, dude. Uh, sweet. I have a sketch oh, from yeah. Matt Fraction. Well, Matt Fraction's my favorite Iron Man. Yeah, but yeah, but Matt, Matt Fraction did a sketch for me. Right. Oh. I mean he's not a sketch. I mean he's I an art he's he's, he's a writer. writer, yeah. He's, I know. And, That's... and so I, it's and so someone had given me um, the uh, a, a sketch cover to get, and so it was like, you're giving me the sketch cover because I didn't have a, a a book for him to sign. So they gave me the sketch cover, and I was like, that's I hate to have you sign a sketch cover. Normally, we get sketches on this, and he told me I have I have two things that I you know he had like at the time he had like a two or three year old. Oh, yeah. I have two things that I I can draw. It's either um, elephants. Or um, I think it was like sharks or something. Those are the two <laughs> things that he could draw for his kid. And it was at the same time as the Republican convention was going on. So I said, wow, the Republican convention's going on. I think I would I would need an, an elephant. elephant. Yep. So he drew me nice. an elephant with that. Right. Oh, yeah. And, and that kind cool. of spawned, you reached out to a lot of artists to help Aurora Rise getting sketch covers, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Even beyond who we had in store appearances, right, right, right. right. Yeah, a lot, a lot of artists. Yeah, you know, so I would, we would contact them, tell them what the story was, and they would do um, sketches for us um, of like the superheroes, sh like showing up. You know, like and 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 what I, when, what I always thought of was like after nine eleven. If you remember, yep. when nine eleven happened, what Correct. Marvel mm -hmm. did, yes. you know, with the black cover, with the the, the black uh, Spider Man cover, yeah. yep. uh, they came out. But then after that, they did a lot of kinds of stories where you would see the superheroes showing up, you know, down to, you know, World Trade Centers. And there would be like Thor and Hulk. They yeah. were like moving buildings out of the way and helping people. And so and Dr. that Hulk. was yeah, and that would that was kind of my approach. Hey, can yep. you show the the heroes coming to the theater and, and giving assistance, and, and that's and what the, they did. And the famous first lithograph we got, I can't think of the artist's name, maybe you guys remember, with the Batman over uh, Century 16. Gosh, yeah, I, that was... Um... Not to pop it on you guys, I know I didn't play it, oh. it just made me think about it. Bob, uh, Bob, Bob Luca? Luca? Bob Luca. Yep. Bob Luca? Yeah, it was um, beautiful. Yeah, it was, yeah. yeah, yeah, he did, yeah the beautiful one, yeah, piece. Yeah, he did, yeah. That one was had at a cemetery. Yeah, the, yes, it was the that's cemetery. What it was. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's that's cemetery. Yeah, 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 I'm sorry. We had some cool ones. Um, there were so many. I mean, it was out. I mean, it was I, outpouring. And it, right. And thank you to all the people who came to those and supported us and, you know, made bids and helped the cause, the customers and the comic fans out there and the collectors out there that supported this. Very much our industry was kind of attacked with all this. Pop culture always does seem to be involved right. in whatever reason. So thank you guys for always supporting Absolutely. the industry. Absolutely. And it was one of those things that that first uh, big push to get those sketch covers that Tom was working on really turned into one of our biggest fundraisers we've done. We've now produced, I think, seven sketchbooks where with Tom starting in the beginning and, Steve and Jason. Plauta, and, and Steve Plauta. Thank you yep, very much, Steve. Steve Plauta put together about five of those on his own. It's been great. I've gone around to some of the big artists myself and we'll talk to them when they're cons and stuff and get some covers. And it has turned into this really great way to bring the artist community and the comic community back into the event. They can donate these small catch sketch covers in and then we not only auction off the original sketch covers, but we make copies of them and we sell the sketchbooks for other artists. And hopefully we can get something going at the uh, fan, uh, All Seas Fan Expo on October 11th through 13th. We're, we're not officially announcing that that's our auction night yet, but you should keep your eye open oh. because we're pretty sure that's our auction night. One yeah. side note on that, I can announce, I do have a celebrity and I'm so excited to announce this right now. Yes. I, he's confirmed it ends. Victor Cook, creator of Darkwing Duck, also Disney animator on first <laughs> thing as Gargoyles. Huge Disney animator. Oh, I mean, spectacular Spider-Man. Thank you. I, I looked up all of his stuff earlier. I was shocked how much I knew from this guy. He did the Aladdin, Aladdin, Aladdin animated series. Yeah. He did the 
uh, Milo and Atlantis animated series. He did the Tarzan animated yeah, series. And, and I don't know oh, if yeah. people understand how hard it is to be a Disney animator. It's not like it's, cut it's, it's hard to be a comic book uh, yeah. you know, penciler. To be a Disney animator is a whole other step. And he's also worked on comic books, too. And oh, work. yeah. Uh, we're working on a VIP dinner event, hopefully at the hotel. Maybe we can co-assign the auction and all this. More details to come. Stay with us, and uh, a lot more exciting news from Aurora Rise and all the yep. right? We have a lot more guests we're going to be announcing at that Fan Expo. We will officially be announcing the auction stuff at the Fan Expo once the whole board gets all the details hammered out. But be paying attention to that Fan Expo. we got more guests to announce, and Victor Cook's just going to be the tip of this iceberg. Absolutely. So let's roll into our markets, my friend. Yeah. Metals are hot. I got gold at $1,513.80 on the rise still, mm -hmm. and silver's at $17.17. .17. You're going to keep seeing this through the presidential election year coming up. A lot of speculations, left, right, who cares? Gold and silver are going to go up. Right. You should put your money in gold and silver. It's really our last free market in this world, and I really suggest to people it's the strongest investment you can make. Yep. And without getting into too much of it, even outside of the election stuff, when words like recession are being dropped, metal goes up. Market's good now, so words like recession always scare everybody, right? Yep. I find the economy strong. Even in Colorado, where we have a high cost of living. Um, you know, the economy's strong. People are buying collectibles. Yep. And it's a, it's something we can always kind of see in the collectible area. As long as we still have these pieces moving, we can kind of see where some of the market's going, if people have the extra money to spend on collectibles. And when they start putting all that money into gold and silver, when they start trying to sell it all off, that's when we start seeing our own markers. Correct, right, right. And that's why you might see a swing down. But as like I said, the economy's strong here. And uh, that's you know to our strong government in Colorado. I'll give props to Colorado. That's, you know, we, we have a pretty nice here. Even yeah. though real estate's really high, but... And we wants can, to be here, right? We can knock that down a few points, but other than that, we're doing great. <laughs> right. What do you got in gaming, AJ? Well, this week is kind of the dead week. This is the calm before the storm, everyone. Next week is going to be one of the biggest gaming weeks that we have maybe this entire year. Next week is the release of the Commander product we've been hyping all month. And there's tons of cards that are going up in price because of this Commander product. Lots of people already speculating on how they want to build those decks. But it's not just Commander next week. We also have Pokemon Hidden Fates, which is going to be the short release set of this year. It's kind of like Shining Legends or Dragon's Majesty from years past. They don't even make boxes of this set. You can only get eight packs at a time in the Elite Trainer kits. And that's the one that we've talked about in a couple shows before that is going to have the Shining Charizard, the Shining Mewtwo, and yeah. the Shining Espeon Secret Rares. That's Fable Charizard. That's yep. what you want. And we also have Pokemon or uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! tins coming out at the same time. So we're having three major products all released next Thursday. And I just would recommend if you guys are into any of those, get down to the gaming arena right away. All of these products are heavily, heavily allocated, and I might not have any of it less by, left by the end of next weekend. Yes, yeah, sir. I think I'll be hopping on the Commander bandwagon. Yep. It's we'll a fun see. game to play. Fun way to play Magic, right? I mean, yeah, I haven't played in seven years, so it's, it's a good way Commander, to play Magic. Do don't you enjoy Commander, Michael? Oh, love it. Yeah, That's I the only too. I switched from standard over. I'm I coming to... in on the next set. Yeah, it's a good jump in point. Oh, yeah. I, they got me into Commander. I like it. So oh, yeah. That's, way to play. that's just how I yeah, play now. That's my standard. Play, play, so yeah, no doubt. That's what I'm all about. The uh, sports card market was kind of a big week. We had Bowman Sterling come out and sell out already. That was 200 bucks a box, and it is gone. Unparalleled football I still have in stock. Love this rookie class. Uh, it's 109 a box. Uh, Daniel Jones looks smart, you know, real strong for the New York Giants already. So, you know, Co Kyler Murray. Quarterback controversy? Yeah, already. Oh, yeah. I'll make one right now. <laughs> he looks <laughs> good. No good Eli on the bench. Uh, right. Kyler Murray, you know, still suspect a little bit probably, but yeah. yeah. yeah over under on Kyler Murray for, uh, I was just in Vegas, over under on total touchdowns he throws. Mm. 22 and a half. Yeah, I would take the under, right? That's what down. it said. Yes. Yeah, like, what? <laughs> right. what are you talking about? Yeah, Tom. I'm on I mean, I saw, I, I could not believe that. Well, it was interceptions. I'll take 22 that. interceptions. There you go. Okay. There right. you go. Yeah, I'll take 18 I mean, 20, I mean, and, and the uh, uh, over under on uh, uh, Baker Mayfield uh, touchdowns thrown. 38 and a half. Ooh. No, 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 I'm sorry. Mahomes. Mahomes, Mahomes 38. But that makes... He threw 50 last year. I, I would take the over yeah, on Mahomes yeah. on 38. Mahomes absolutely. 30 I would put Baker Mahomes. at 38 this year. I think Baker may kill it at 38. I don't know if I'd go over 38, 38, but... I think he'll be right there. I think he'll be the number two quarterback. I, I, I hate fantasy. to throw you into, into, into the gambling part of this, but are, are the Browns all that? Ah, uh, their defenses. Uh, they're 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 good. Guys, the, odds, the odds, Tom, you know how I always play. I want sleepers, right? I want sleeper teams for my money. Browns too overrated. What are the odds on the Browns to win the Super Bowl? Did you look? Uh, they're way too well, high, right? Yeah, no money. Picked, they're picked to win their division. Right. Picked to win their division. Yeah, or the Steelers over the, or the, or the Ravens. Steelers, the Ravens. Or the Steelers and the Ravens. Ravens, super right. teams. 
right? right. I like. The I will tell defense, everybody, but... uh, and, and James will never take credit for this, but James is the one who picked the Eagles. I did. Okay, before <laughs> they won, he picked them, you know, in August of that year, and I could have bought that the, the, the ticket on Eagles. them. I didn't buy the ticket. That they were a hundred to one. Hundred to one. James, James was Why did you put money down? Well, well he, didn't, gambler, yeah, he didn't give me five bucks. Or, you, know, <laughs> yes, you know, I wanted to bet, you know, yeah. on the Titans instead. And we, we, well, I picked Titans. To Eagles Those were my two picks. Right. Yeah. Titans were good. They lost the playoffs. It was five bucks. My yeah. God. I mean, it's like a, a brand new issue of Batman. I, I didn't want to, you know, I, I had to choose. I'll put comics. a sleeper on the team. What? You know, super team comics in the AFC that. this year? It's your boys, right? I would think the Colts. Andrew They're right there. Right there. Oh, yeah, he's just not playing preseason. He'll be fine. He's, he's a baller. Hey, watch my boy in the Chiefs. Yeah, but they're not a sleeper. They're, <laughs> <laughs> they're the favorite, brother. Uh, they're, you know, uh, they're, they're, they're at least favorite for our, uh, the, our, our division. No, those, you're, those, yeah, those are a couple in there. I mean, just not, not sure about those brownies. <laughs> yeah, just, I'm not either. Too many egos, man. I'll jump in right here to say, if you guys are enjoying this part of the talk, you have to catch next week's show. Next week is all going to be about final or a fantasy football draft. It's going to be Eddie Rhodes on the show. This is all we're going to do the whole time. Yep, and uh, E3 Art will represent. He's done a lot of work for professional athletes. Artwork, check out his page. He'll talk more about it. Eddie's my longtime friend. That Mark May sketch was off the chains. Yes, sir. That was amazing. Yeah, and uh, we'll bring up real quick uh, Power Rangers Day we have coming up. But we'll get next week. That, it's going to be happening. Uh, real quick, marketplace with comic books, brother. What do you so, got, right? Shane Chi is still still on the rise. Yeah, he is. Uh, giant size master of. Kung you believe Fu. that, Tom? I don't. Yeah, <laughs> right. Long time yeah. comic reader. I I can tell Tom's like what? Shane Chi, master of Kung Fu. Finally, it's up six hundred fifty percent. It's been worth nothing yeah. for the movie. Yep, giant size master of Kung Fu number three up six hundred fifty percent. There's a first appearance of Shadow Stalker, Clive Reston, Doctor Petrie, rumored to be in Shang Chi. So okay. those are so just, just everyone is rumored in the movies is, already is, going yeah. before we even know. If we're in the movie. We were we were told Molten Man. Yeah, you told me Molten Man. But then he was. Did I didn't see that movie yet. Far, so I don't yeah, know. The, all those books. So yeah. all those amazing Spider Man's so like two twelve, like all the, like first Hydra Man, Molten Man, like jump skyrocket because everyone was like it is, but then it. You know, yeah, illusions yeah, and it was, it was well. Yeah. The elemental yeah. shot up because everybody thought it was the elemental. And we all told you not to I trust Mysterio. That, I called that <laughs> right. Well, he's a loser. I thought we saw the first trailer. Right. Chris and me told everyone, yeah. don't trust Mysterio, don't trust the trailer. Yeah, he's a special effects artist. Yeah, yeah true. <laughs> Mysterio. Um, Venom number nine is up. Uh, What's Dylan, in that? Uh, Dylan Brock's first appearance. And oh, his son, his son, son of Eddie Brock, and he's either a human symbiote hybrid, and he's the you know from birth. Oh, it's in his DNA. The, You're right. Oh, the yeah. Yeah. Stuff's <laughs> in his DNA. <laughs> he hasn't told him yet, so he just thinks Ooh. it's his brother. I wonder yeah, if that's going to be a key part in oh, the weird. in the well, new that's absolute. Weird, uh, so it, yeah, that's a weird if one. You, yeah. Yeah. You're an alien yeah. from birth. Well, yeah. if you read <laughs> absolute, absolute your brother's your dad. Yeah. If you sure, read Absolute yeah. Carnage, that's why he's like Eddie. Eddie. He calls him, and even Peter was like, "Why is he calling you Eddie?" And he goes, "I haven't told him yet." And then separation anxiety is causing Venom Lethal Protector number four to go up hmm. because it has Scream, Agony, Lasher, Phage, and Riot. All is that known as their first appearance? Yeah. First Gosh, appearance. I just so had that graded not too long ago. <laughs> so. so all those comics on the rise. There's right, a couple, yeah. couple current issues. I'm really breaking rise, my heart lately with these comics. On I the know, rise, man. I, I need to tell you as soon as possible. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> told him too I'm late last week. Homework, right? I know you are. I'm doing <laughs> Um, and then Amazing Spider-Man 27, which I believe we have in stock. Yes, we got, we, we got some of those. Those are the first full team appearance of the all-female Sinister Syndicate. Mm, yep. I don't know how juicy that'll be. But I guess how it's juiced about Oh, it. did I, my eyes roll too loud? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know uh, how juicy that'll it's be. Good. But it's good. They're still in the back of your head. First appearance. <laughs> you know, almost. <laughs> I don't um, know. It's just like the it felt forced out of nowhere. They got yeah. rid of the whole Sinister Six, threw together female Electro, female Doc Ock. Yeah. Every, I don't know. It's weird. Has nothing to say about it. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything yeah. at all. So, Amen. I'm going to watch my it. baseball team lose <laughs> in the ninth. Rockies. So, Come on, Rockies. I have a micro question there on that, I guess. So, uh, the Sinister Six, didn't some of them get uh, killed off by Doc Ock as Spider-Man back when that was... I thought during the uh, Fantastic Codes of Spider-Man that he yeah. straight killed some of them. Oh, like... Uh, old ones like Shocker, Speed Demon. Like, he went after a couple of them, but I okay. mean, like, the original Sinister Six is all gone. Like, Mysterio's off doing yep. his thing. Like, there are no originals, but. So now we're just, just having a new team take in. Yeah, right. pretty much. But yeah. okay. it just, it's, you know, you've got to have the female Electro, female Doc well, they've Ock. They've been which, doing that for a while. I, well, yeah. the only weird one that's out there is White Rabbit. 
You're kind of just yeah. like, yeah. And then I, remember White Rabbit is. I remember White Rabbit. White Rabbit. Peter Parker, right? She's been teased for a while. Yeah, cover, so, which is like in that casino. Yeah, well, yeah, and then you, of is. course, you know, I like my Beetle, but they're like, oh, we got to have the female Beetle one. So what, I, I hope they just bring them all back. But Doc Ock's still superior Spider Man. Right, right. He's Beatles. off doing his female thing. Female Beetle is still running around the issue. Yeah. In Peter's body? No. Yes, or in a or new a, body. He made a clone body. Right. He's living yeah. in San Francisco. Let's, let's just... <laughs> All right, well, on that note... Anyway, uh, it's actually uh, kind of cool. So wrap wrap this up. That's it. Uh, Shang-Chi is still on the rise. And they're still, right now, they're still fairly cheap. Yeah, so by now, Master Kung Fu, pick them up. Yeah, it's good now. Bronze Age Marvel. I pick up all Bronze Age Marvel. Yeah. And that'll bring me to this next point, Micah. You ready for Beyond the Long Box in this week's books? Let's oh. talk about them. All right. Well, the first and... Only like DC, like big DC book. Uh, Vent Leviathan. Yeah, you boy Green Arrow let me down on that book. Yeah. Oh, my boy. Yeah, what's up with that, man? Hey, <laughs> yeah, all he does is she's an arrow and he, and he missed. Yeah. <laughs> or did Red Hood actually block it and deflect it? Probably. One of the two. Yeah, yeah, he's I, this whole. Bendis so, is pulling a Bendis. A lot of action in that book, though. I mean, each panel is long, uh, elongated action scenes, double page. It's pretty sweet. That's Bendis being Bendis. That's, so, he can drag on a whole night for six issues. But it was good. I mean, I like action in my yeah. comics, so. True. If, you, if you like action-filled comic books, that's what that movie They're is. hunting Red Hood because they, they're trying to figure out who is Leviathan. Right. And Red Hood is being framed, so we think. But Batman knows Jason Todd's not that smart. True. <laughs> True. We never got killed by the Joker, huh? Right. No, we're going by that theory. Oh, um, no but it just has a crowbar going low. <laughs> right. I'm Amanda, the Joker. Amanda right. Waller is the key. She assumes she that she knows who Leviathan is, and Leviathan has access to Suicide Squad, Argus, Spiral. I mean, he has access. Like to much. Sounds like she's Leviathan because she has access to all that stuff too. Right. Ooh. So now Leviathan is turning the page, and Amanda Waller was supposed to offer up a mother box to Leviathan. To get you know to save her high knee, but we'll see how all that works out in the next issue. All right. I left it on a cliffhanger. Imagine while they're always in the scenes of a good she and bad. Is, is she a villain or is she a good guy? Right? She's Black both. queen, yeah. red queen. She's Nick Fury. Today. Yeah, she's, she's Nick Fury of DC. Yeah, she's a good bad evil. Sure. Does whatever she wants because she thinks it's better for everybody. Government influence, Absolutely. but yet not really yes. by the people for the people. Right. Amanda Waller, the original female Nick Fury. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, and we have her first appearance. If you guys want to stop and pick that up, boom. I think she's. Too expensive now. No, she's pretty cool though. She's like, a good, interesting character. Yeah, yeah, she is. She's awesome. So and it just takes one movie to make her blow up, and she'll be like. Nick she was in one, experience. but that nobody likes that. But movie. one good movie. <laughs> one good movie. I like. That. Well, I mean, I like she. That. I mean, she was in <laughs> Suicide Squad. Yeah, that's the one we don't talk about. Let's not talk about it. Yeah, I like it. It's like that. It was. It was good. I'm out there. I like Suicide. Oh, uh, that's it for Van Levine, really. Yeah. Um, another just really good, just DC book. You can actually start it off this week. Seventy six for Flash. Year one's over, and they're kind of just jumping back on the. You can start from here like basically a number one again um good one about this one black flash returns yeah i saw De- that death it should be called racer x no but no it's a terrible racer. name in speed racer it's a terrible name for the a only flash thing though room. he is coming oh, back God. he comes I after like again, death of flash like he always comes out like when the speedsters ready to die now he's coming after all the forces so still force all sage force all the forces we don't whoa 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 the other There's other the forces force? beyond Speed Force? Yes, yes. unfortunately. And actually, the Sage Force? force? I'm out. It's pretty bad. I'm actually, out. after they got released, it's killing <laughs> off the Speed Force. He's such a grudge, you man. Oh, I'm out, Chris. I'm with you. No, <laughs> it's bad. Although I did hear uh, after, yeah. Legion is going to introduce the Gold Lantern. God. What? Okay, actually, I, I want to just put out a theory here because this is something that was theorized about three, four years ago. There was a hint in one of the books about it. There might be another spectrum of lanterns. It, that is, uh, yes. the theory is that it's the prismatic spectrum, and you'd get gold, silver, copper, bronze, maybe even emerald light colors. It started with it the sounds like metals. Metals. It sounds like a, I, sounds like a lead into it, metal. Originally, they were talking about <laughs> yeah, metals, which is coming yeah. back, by the way, I'll for saying that. Dumb originally, they were talking more metals, copper. not the stones. Yeah. That's how kind of it book. started with the ultraviolet <laughs> spectrum. Yep. That's where it started. Where which Sinestro has right now. Which mm-hmm. doesn't make any sense. But the biggest key is that Flash, like when they broke yeah, it and all these other no forces one. showed up, it's killing off the speed force. So it's slowing down all the speedsters. And that's why I think good, death. Let's kill someone. Good. Well, speed I mean, force well, is the worst thing in DC impulse, comics. Yeah, well, yeah, and I think that's death. what he's doing is deaths. Actually, I don't think he's here for Flash. I think he's trying because he's a speedster. I think he's coming along to be like, hey, now I'm getting slower. Hold on. And then he's gonna go or after all those. Just fixing the speed force. He's gonna repair it. Kill all the <laughs> no, other no, no, no. Nerf it. Nerf the speed you know force. Gonna that's what we Superman's need. gonna come in. 
beat them all in a race. Oh, here we go. <laughs> all right. What do you got next? What's up, after <laughs> Well, actually, one that Trish and I both read, Doctor Strange. Oh, this one. What do you think about Strange, babe? Uh, this is good. I, I don't want to take over for him, but do I you liked reading that comic. I did. I did. I love. My, I love Doctor Strange, though. So yeah, no doubt. Well, this one he had to like recreate the universe again with an eternity and Mephisto and everyone. In eternity, he's an interesting character too. Another one you can't never really get one feel of another for, right? Oh yeah, that's his whole point. And it's just the visual thing. You kind of had that like he's sweet. Yeah, yeah. It, what I liked about this one is it had that Kirby, but like did co feel where it's just everything. Fukushima. Oh yeah, yeah. and Mephisto. Right. You and I just yeah. <laughs> if it's got Mephisto in it, we're good. And that's going to kind of lead into the, the the movie, probably, in a way of the multiverse mm, with Marvel. That makes sense. If you are going to do it that way, Doctor Strange would be my only suggestion. I, yeah, and he actually, I mean, in this one, he went ahead and he basically had to surgically re... Uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? He for rebuilt sure. the universe. Or like... Oh. Or, or, so rewrite Morgan. history, rewrite history, or not rewrite history, basically install it all back again, with the exception of what was Reboot. it, Ford? Like a garden. Yeah, yeah. Or garden. Or something like yeah that. that's the problem with the multiverse right there. And he like, had to erase her mind. Yeah, he had to erase, garden, baby, yeah. You know? he had to erase his, um, the love of his life's mind. It was like a trick from the devil. From the so. Yeah, so. That's mm. actually pretty cool. Mm. Yeah, so, and I think the movies always follow the books, and then they kind of like vice versa. I, I think they're going to... those in that movie. Gosh. And that's supposed to be the, the, horror, the first horror movie that they're making, Correct. right? Correct, yes. Yeah. So, so that should be... And it's rated R, right? And Blade in the end of is that movie. Really, I believe they said it's rated R. Rumor. Then Jennifer that's going to really make it hard for it. Like, they're going to lose... First the R-rated rated Marvel movie rated since Blade, R. too. Right. I don't know if they consider the original Blades. Do they consider that a Marvel movie anymore? No. I mean, it is, but... It is for me. Yeah, is as long as the Marvel title comes Yeah, but... Yeah, right. But then I heard this Doctor Strange... But Blades was the first. Must be in the MCU, right? Yeah, the MCU. Yes, well, yeah, that you are MCU. Are MCU. Aren't the rumors oh. are that Wesley Snipes is going to be in the Blade movie, but as the villain? That's Tomb a rumor. Dracula. He's supposed to play Dracula. What? No, Tomb of Dracula. So it's going to be a, a mind. <laughs> right? It's, it's a, a it's a rumor. They want to do that. They supposedly want to. Supposedly they want to do the uh, Tomb of Dracula story and Dracula. I hope so too. That's a mind was the bad guy? So that'd be cool. They, and they're like, hey, let's get Wesley Snipes to play him. Well, then another multiverse. Wesley Snipes. We got a whole bunch of Blackula on that. Too. You know, I love that movie. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I love that movie. Let's go. If I love the, the first Blade was amazing. It's a great movie. Yeah. Yeah. Except for the end. Except for the end. All right, what else? You-